welcome back in this video we are going to touch the user management part of uh, checkpoint firewall first uh, change my part password suppose you want to change your admin password so you can click here and uh, enter your old password so and uh, what type of new password you want to give suppose i want to give the new password test one two three four five test one two three four five this is my new password and it also showing good on the right hand side there is a small indicator it will show your strength of your password once you click apply your password will at the bottom of the screen it will show the password save successful okay let's try it out let me log in with the old password and check is this working or not and here it will show permission denied it means old password is not working let me try with new password test one two three four five and let me check okay it is correct and login so you can see we are able to log in with the new password it means our password is changed so let me go again to the user management sec section and see what are the other options we have users now next option is users with this we can add users or delete users uh, let's try with uh, let's add one user suppose we want to add a user with the name of uh, vivek kathayat okay and uh, the user password will be like uh, abc at the rate one two three four five abc at the rate one two three four five okay i'll show you the password okay now here is the real name here is the path here is what type of shell you want to give to your users here is the additional option like user must change password in the next logon suppose you want the username that you are creating he can change the password when he next log on so you need to check this option for that so when that user log in you need to change a new password and then only he can work further so the next option is what type of access mechanism that you want to give to your user like uh, i just want to give uh, web or clash clash means client access and web means web gui access suppose i want to give both and what type of roles you want to give suppose i want to give the admin role so select admin role click on the add button the add button will come here here the roles is only two admin and monitor role you can also customize your own role based on your requirement that we will see in the further section of this video now we assign vivek kathayat as a user with the admin role so what we will do we will click ok ok so you can see vivek is added now we will log out and log in again with the username abc at the rate 1 2 3 4 5 is the password now we will going to log in and you can see we successfully able to log in with the user vivek kathayat and here are all the functionalities as a admin he have so this is how this work let me log out again and log in with the admin user okay test one two three four five now this is working so we have created a new user let's go to again users now if you want to reset your password suppose I want to change my password okay you can click here enter the new password like I want to give ABC at the rate 3 to 1 ABC at the rate 3 to 1 so this is the password I'm giving click OK you can change the password this way also let me try 
and log out and check password is working or not so i'll try with sorry we break and uh, the password is abc at the rate 321 let me show you the password cool now click login and here you can see we have successfully logged in with uh, our new password so this is how this functionality works now let's go to the roles now there are three roles here okay but we don't want these roles we want a new custom role so you need to go to add you want to give any name like i want to give custom underscore role and i want to give only few access suppose so here you can see the read and write option and uh, name description so let me say that uh, i don't want to give this route option to him and uh, okay there are three options none read only read write so i have selected none on route like uh, he cannot uh, okay let me say that he cannot add any users okay he cannot configure a user account let's see that route and users are working or not this we have removed these two roles from the web ui access okay i click okay role must include at least one feature okay so let me again go to that and suppose i want to give access of this time he have only read and only read and only access of time he can set he cannot set the time because i have given only the read write read only access i have given the display configuration only the read only access now let me give another blade summary access only the read only access i'll give access to configure system name let me only give the read write access to this configure system name okay okay this much of permission let's will give to this role let me add the name of the custom role custom underscore role click ok so this is how we can create the custom role here only the four features are added which you can see here only this role has the read and write access and rest of the others are read only this is for the extended commands like the cli suppose i just want to give if config rest he cannot execute the command from the cli click okay okay let's go to users and double click here i just want to remove this role admin role and only give the custom role now i'll click okay and log out now let me log in with vivek atayat abc at the rate 321 i'll show you the password and log in now you can see whatever the role we have assigned to the user it is reflecting here it has the blade acts blade features view but only the read write sorry read only another thing he has the overview he has the time but the page is currently in the read only 